Welcome back guys to Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13 where we make our entrance into the warehouse district and look of course for wherever this crystal shard is though with Mitka supposedly nearby as well in the commercial place we've got two things to look for and that's our place isn't it? Hello sir! Should I just go ahead and bust it open? What's the story with the box? Well it was given to us by a customer but they must have forgotten to address it. Why don't you just give it back to that customer? Well, that's where things get a bit sticky, you see. One of our new lads handled the package. Said some bigwig from the cathedral gave it to him. Asked if we could hold it for a while. From the cathedral, huh? Let me guess. That bigwig is tied to the saint somehow, aren't they? How'd you know that? That's amazing. The new lad was delivering packages to the saint's quarters when he met this person. Never even got their name, or anything. <sighs> We've really stuck our foot in it now. The Order is one of our biggest customers. We can't go back and admit we took a package from someone there without checking it. I may be able to help you out. I'm looking for something that was taken from the Cathedral. I'd like to check that box. If it's there, I'll return it myself. I'll take full responsibility for it. I'd love to let you take a look, but I haven't been able to get it open. I'm thinking it's gonna have to be smashed open at this rate. <laughs> Fine, I can handle that. Wait, what? Hold on, seriously? Y you're kidding, right? No, not really. Lightning doesn't really joke, does she? Time for Smashy Smashy! <laughs> and through we go, where is our reward? More than one? We've got a crystal medal and a crystal shard. Thank you, warehouse employee. Now let's see if we can find this Midka before heading back. This has to be the stone that Aramaya was talking about. The one stolen from Vanille. So it wasn't stolen by an outsider, but taken from within the Order. That's worrisome. Could there be someone within the Order with a grudge against Vanille? Maybe I should talk to that woman from the Order again, Aramaya. She might be able to answer some questions. I'm looking for a woman who used to own a bookstore in these parts. She also goes by the name Midka. Well, my name is Mitka, and I ran a bookshop once back in the day, but that was over 200 years ago. Are you certain I'm the one you're looking for? I'm not, but maybe you can help me. Listen, I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if you remember a man named Renolf. Ah, yes, I remember him. Gosh, that was a long time ago. Who are you anyway? What do you want with him? He's the one who found me, really. He asked me to track down an old journal of his for him. He did? Huh. That's a strange request. And what is he up to these days? Eating muffins and reading his books? That's about it, really. Oh. So, why are you helping him? If you don't mind my asking? It's what I do, that's all. Oh. Are you one of those people who does charity work? <sighs> Call it what you will. So, can you help me out? All I can tell you is that I've never handled his journal, but I do know a thing or two about his past. But none of that is for me to divulge. If you want the truth, you need to find out for yourself. I plan to. I just don't know where to start. Head to the part of the city they call the Warren. Once there, seek out the man with no name. <laughs> right. Hope there's only one of them, or that's gonna be rather difficult. Oh, not to worry. You'll find him. But I urge you to be very, very careful. What you're doing is admirable, but it might not be what he really needs. I thank you there, Mitka. Well, okay. We've got that done, but it leads us to another quest over in the Warrens, so we've a long walk back with the power of editing. I'll see you back at Aramir, I think, with the crystal shard in hand. So we have returned to Aramir. It's time to hand in the crystal shard and see what comes next. Hey. Is this the stone that Vanille's missing? Oh, this rainbow sparkle, this sheen, yes, this is it exactly. This saint will be thrilled to have it back, I'm sure. I don't know how close you are with Vanille, but do you know why she cares so much about that particular stone? I do. The saint confided the truth to me when it appeared lost forever. She told me that this stone, this very stone, was held clutched in her hand when she awoke from her crystal stasis 13 years ago. She claims this stone holds a special power. Every once in a very rare while, it shows a glimpse of the precious family who is lost to her now. 
I can tell she cares for them with all her heart. Family? She must have meant Fang. <gasps> oh my! You know of Lady Fang? Yes, it seems it was possible for the Saint to sometimes get a glimpse of Lady Fang in the facets of that stone. I can see why the stone meant so much to her. Tell Vanille I'm glad she has it back safe and sound. Oh, I couldn't possibly give her that message. But you will have the chance to tell her yourself. Huh? The Holy Saint herself has expressed an interest in seeing you. And so I was asked to give you this. Here. Hmm. A key. This is a copy of the key that unlocks the service entrance to the cathedral. The saint has no duties at this hour and should be found in her chambers. The gates are locked. But if you use that key that you have there... Then... I'll be able to see Vanille. Yes. <laughs> Just thinking that I might get to see the saint smile again fills my heart with nothing but joy and happiness. Another quest is complete, but most importantly, I feel that- Oh, we got ourselves another garb here, the Paladin. I feel like the best reward we could be getting here is to visit an old friend. Maximum HP plus 40, maximum magic plus 6. HP plus 40 actually gives me a flat 6k. So I think that's pretty neat. We're not allowed to do anything else, but I noticed this in the background of the cutscene as well. So we got ourselves a silvered medal. We'll take that and get running in because we want to see vanilla. Excuse me, people. Maybe I should check out some of these garbs I've been getting lately. I mean, we got tons of garbs, to be honest. We've got the Paladin now, which is Heavy Guard level 3. Maximum ATB plus 30. Default ATB only 50%. Soul of the Holy Knight and Rune Good Guard. Increase magic resistance by 10% and resistance to status almost by 20%. That's not bad. A nice guarding paradigm, I'd say. Though I do kind of like Mediguard on my guarding one. Get a little bit more HP, which is... Exactly the reason why I kind of am using the Mikoti dress rather than for its looks or anything. Trust me, I'm not using it for its looks. I'm using it for Medigard Plus. That's so good. It just seems really good. So let's head inside and get moving. That blue mage garb, I've had a look at it. Well, that seems to be magic damage via physical attacks, so that's interesting in itself. I'm looking for something like an all-powerful garb. Well, you know, we'll switch garbs as we go along, to be honest. It's... None of these garbs are static, if you know what I mean. We're not keeping them forever. Anything hidden down the sides? No. Well, I'm going straight on in at full speed ahead. Surely we'll see some more new, better garbs as we go along. Surely. I hope. Please. Like, clearly outstandingly better with really good spells, like Fire Level 3! Yellow version would be good. Well, there she is! I'd recognize you anywhere, Vanille! It's time to meet an old friend! Uh, lightning? Long time no see, Vanille. Uh, you look well. And you haven't changed. You're just as I remember. <laughs> Me and everyone else. But you don't mean it like that, do you? Vanille, we'd fought together once a long time ago. We were comrades in arms in a battle against gods who toyed with human destiny. And at the end of that battle, she sacrificed herself. She turned into a great crystal pillar. Rising from the plains of Pulse, holding a world full of people safe in the sky. But then 13 years ago, she came back. <laughs> uh, you again? Oh. <laughs> so you two know each other. Oh, yes. We've been together ever since I woke up. Right. Thick as thieves. But Fang's not around. Well, we woke up at the same time, and we were together for a while. But she left. And you decided to stay behind under the protection of the Order? You must have a reason. Uh-huh. There's something I have to do. It has to be me. And it has to happen right here.
There's a lot of chaos swirling around in here. I'd have thought the Order's Cathedral at least would still be clear. Yes, yes, I know. It hurts terribly. I understand. But it won't be long now. You'll be free soon. Vanille, who are you talking to? What is this stuff? A wind of sorrow, the lament of the dead. Can't you hear their voices? Lost souls crying out in pain and suffering. You mean this wind is the dead? Yeah, they've been drawn here, one after another. All the people who died after the chaos poured through the gate. They've been swallowed by the chaos, and now they're trapped inside. I can feel it. All their sadness, all their grief. They're swelling around me. Every single cry feels like a dagger. Right in my heart. There must be so many millions of souls, and you feel all their pain? That can't be. Our world is being destroyed. There's no place for them to come back to, and there's no way for them to be reborn anymore. So they're caught in the chaos with their pain. They just can't escape it. The Order believes that the souls have to be saved from their sorrow. They say the only way to do that is to offer them oblivion. Vanille's job is to call them to her so that can happen. All of those souls at the same time? But Vanille, will you be able to handle all that? I don't have any choice. If she doesn't, can you guess what will happen? This wind has been building for years. Layers of souls. A black hole of pain. Try and imagine how much energy is inside. If it ever got out, all at once. It'd be the end of this world. And the future as well. Yeah, but don't worry about it. I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, and Vanille was looking well. Don't you think so? Hope, is it me, or do you sound happy? Does someone have a little crush? What, what are you talking about, Light? Of course not. Seems that he does, but Vanille's got some pretty heavy stuff to deal with, so with time ticking along, in fact, it's just past midnight now, our next destination, of course, is all the way over at the Warren. So let's get a move on through this alleyway over here, the one which actually has enemies it whoa. Actually has enemies and probably has chaos within it as well. I'll take you on all the same though. We've dealt with you a couple of times. Yes, fighting! It actually happens from time to time. Ow, I got hit. Never intended to, but there we go. Full on blizzards to take you down without a problem. And our fancy dress and massive axe could have worked without an issue. In fact, we might want to start chronostasising again if we can get some EP here. And if we defeat a monster in the chaos, we're bound to get it. Chaos pocket, be gone. Just about managed to guard that one. I'd already kind of queued up a magic slash by accident. But one massive hit on a stagger? And that guy goes down for any issue whatsoever. We've already sorted out our tactics for them after all. 1.17 EP, I'll take that. That's for sure. In fact, that should be enough to chronostasis, but is, as yeah, I was about to say, is there any soul seeds around? Hidden away? Or shall we chronostasis and get moving? 
So we want to keep it in this time thing. We've got a few things to do around the warrant. We don't want to have to come back to somewhere that can easily be locked out of again. I can't even get in battle with this monster. I was even letting it have the first hit on us. Well, the blizzard's flying perfectly. We'll sort out that enemy without an issue. Ah, a little bit of fighting to break up all the tension. Attack level one with a yellow thing. Nicely done. I just wonder if there's any medals in here. Well, it doesn't seem like it, but monsters come, and they keep on wanting to fight. These guys will be killed pretty fast if they don't stop with the idiocy. Attacking me is never the best idea. Considering I have such powerful attacks against them. Poison level one we got there. Can they poison me? Because that would actually be a good thing. We have an item that we wish to use. So with that said... Shall I just tank it up a bit? See if you do anything other than try to hit me? I do remember you guys having a poison attack before, after all. Okay, you're war crying first, which is going to give you brave. Megabyte, I thought used to poison, but obviously doesn't anymore. So you war cry and then do a mega bite, yeah? Seems you've got nothing else important or impressive apart from that, which is really disappointing. I was hoping to get poisoned, and that sounds weird, but still. To be honest, maybe mega bite can poison me. Maybe I'm just not. Maybe it just didn't stick that one time. There's only one chaos seed along the way. I'm sure there must be more, but still. We'll take on another battle. Aren't you going to go charging at me? You're going to hit me again, are you, you rude guy? You do know you're defeated, though. As soon as you stop the war cry, that's as long enough as I need to send in tons of blizzards. In fact, probably one more battle with them would have sorted me out for some more EP. But let's get going. Let's get down there. The warren's not far away. We'll take a bronze medal. We'll jump over the barricade over here. It's where I think our catty boy is. Mew. Mew indeed. I should just say his name to his face and see if he can get it. Mew. Rather than looking at lightning's midriff all the time. Well, with that said, let's go past where we missed ourselves an item. I'm defeating a last one. Get inside. Let's see what's going on here. I'm out of wares. Today I'm here as a customer, just like you. Okay, merchant man. Boring merchant man. You can at least sell me some cool stuff. Bit of frame rate lag right now, but we're just going to jump down. In fact, there should be monsters here as well. We haven't made these guys extinct, have we? Monsters, monsters, come up. Monsters, not monsters. Quests. Oh. Hey, little missy. How about a drink? Looks like you've already had enough for both of us. <laughs> Not by half. I'm just barely getting started here. You want to know why? Ask my dearly departed fiance. She left me standing there like a fool at the altar. Do you really blame her? Who wants to marry a drunkard? You got it all wrong, honey. I started drinking after she left me. Everything has gone downhill since then. You probably won't believe me when I tell you, but I used to command a whole legion of the Order's finest men. Those days, I was on top of the world. Nothing could bring me down. Then why did your fiancé leave you? You must have some idea. Not even the foggiest. Me and Filiana. We were so in love. Or so I thought. Then she disappeared and never came back. She disappeared out of the blue? Are you sure something didn't happen to her? You did look for her, didn't you? Of course I did. From the palace in Houston to the edge of the wildlands. I searched for decades, but I never even heard a whisper of Filiana. <laughs> and when I described her, no one had ever even seen her pass through. My Filiana was a looker. No one could have forgotten seeing her. We were the happiest two people could be. But then... I crashed down from heaven to hell. There's no salvation to be found in this world. No God or Savior to deliver us. And if there's no salvation, then there's no hope. 
Can you honestly tell me that I'm wrong? Show me. Show me where there's any hope in this place. What? You're gonna find my Filiano for me and prove me wrong? Okay, get the girl is our next quest found. Down in the warren at the bottom of Mangled Hill slumps a forlorn former officer with a sad tale to tell. His name is Lackley, and he was abandoned on his wedding day by his bride-to-be. I'm expecting this to not go well, by the way. For decades, he searched for his fair Filiana to no avail. He's given up hope now, but perhaps lightning can succeed where he could not. I'm imagining she's staying away from him. This isn't good. I'd be willing to at least try. If there's still hope in this world, it has to be found. You have to look for it. Ha! You're a tough chick with a good heart. Thanks for offering. That's good enough for me. I said I was willing to try, and I meant it. Where was the last place you saw what was certainly your better half? You're actually going to go find her? Filiana and I both lived in Yusnan back in those days. She was a fantastic cook. Her skills got her a job at a swanky restaurant where all the foodies went. Did you check out the restaurants in Yusnan? It's possible she's working in one. Oh, you don't get how desperate I was back then. I checked every lead I could get my hands on, but I found nothing. I'll go back and check them again. What? You will? You would do that? For a stranger? Uh, I don't know what to say. Here, take this with you. Matching rings. Seeing it just reminds me of her, but I don't have the courage to throw it away. Yet another quest gained, which brings us up to so many we've got running at the moment in Luxarian, I think. We've got at least... Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, unlike Yusnan, where we've only got two running. In fact, I think we've done pretty well for Yusnan as a whole. I couldn't see any more quests there. It's a lot smaller, I'd say, than Luxarion. Luxarion seems to have them all, but with all these quests going on, we continue on into the war in the next episode to find even more, probably, or at least complete some, because we know we've got one that we very much have to do in the 24 hours, according to the comments. We really have to find Louise, so join me next time for Lightning Returns. Bye-bye.